You can get in that victim mindset and you will wake up and months have gone past. Nothing's changed. Get out of that. Consistency is a product of discipline. That girl, she's not here. New body who this? Shout out to Nikki and Kanye. welcome or welcome back to my channel hope you guys are all doing good if you are new here my name is Tashai so in today's video we are kicking off a new series on my channel kind of like a girl talk vibe all things self-development growth evolving talking about life relationship dating career friendships everything a little bit of everything and just all things growth and all things leveling up so yeah I'm really excited because I feel like I'm in a point where I'm stepping into a new season, a new era of my life. And that's what we're gonna start talking about today. What a new season is, stepping into a new season and what that really requires. When it comes to stepping into a new season, a new era in your life, the golden rule is you cannot expect doing the same things is gonna get you new results. New things have to change and we're gonna go through a guide and just some tips on how to exit. I'm not gonna call it the lazy girl era. I'm gonna say how to exit a more stagnant area of your life and how to level up and just step into something new, something better, something fresh. So let's get into the tips and tricks that I found that have helped me. So many things have changed and I'm working on so many different things and improving different things. So let's do it together, let's chit chat and let's improve, let's do better. First things first, we're leaving the excuses and the victim mentality at the door. If you want to move forward and you want to grow, you cannot put yourself in a victim mindset and just be, what was me, this happened and that's why this has happened. You have to take control of your life you cannot keep looking back at the past or looking back at things that have happened or things you didn't get to do and literally sit in that that is going to keep you stagnant that's going to keep you stuck and one thing about life it keeps moving it continues life does not wait for nobody and it's certainly not going to wait for you so the victim mentality out excuses out you cannot wait for people to come and save you you cannot think that someone's gonna help you you literally have to take control for yourself and get tired of it okay we are human beings it's okay to have emotions it's okay to have feelings i'm never gonna negate that but do not wallow in that for too long you can get in that victim mindset and you will wake up and months have gone past years have gone past and you're like oh, where's the time gone what's happened yeah get out of that my second tip and something that's really helped me is finding your why currently i feel like we're in a time where we're taking in so much content on a daily whether it be social media or whether it be the programs you watch on tv whatever it is i think everyone has a screen whether it's your phone ipad laptop tv everyone has a screen at this point and we take in so much content and it's very easy to fall into comparison not just comparison but looking at what other people have and immediately thinking that's what i want honey do you actually want it or do you like how it looks on that person or do you like what it represents to other people find out your why i know that sounds very simple like who wouldn't want to level up who wouldn't want to you know change their life for the better who wouldn't want to step into a new season and be a better person who wouldn't but you really have to check yourself like do i want to make this move whether it be career whether it be your dating lifestyle whether it be where you live like do i want to make these changes because i generally want to or is it because i see other people with things and they have it and i feel like i need to play catch up because that's a very dangerous territory to be in because you don't want to be in a situation where you change your life to a certain type of aesthetic or certain type of way and then when you get there it doesn't fulfill you at all you don't want to waste your time and to be honest i don't think time is ever wasted i think there's always opportunity to learn from experience but you don't want to base your level up or your glow up journey on mimicking somebody else's life like no i think it's just a more healthy way to encourage growth because i think it really staples down your purpose and what you're doing this for rather than comparing yourself to other people or chasing behind what other people have like you're very sure and you're very confident in your journey and i think it also kind of stamps down your confidence in your journey because it's very easy to kind of be pushed off course because you feel like you're behind other people you're late to the party in terms of accomplishing things but once you know your why and once you know like your path and your purpose and what you're doing it for there's no way you can feel behind because it's your path and it's your individual journey so new season a new you is going to require discipline 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 and i know when it comes to discipline it's easier said than done but i'm telling you guys from experience of me actually being disciplined in certain areas of my life it truly helps so much and i really believe that discipline is an amazing form of self-love because discipline is doing things even when you don't feel like it just because you know it's going to yield 
great results for your future self. I feel like consistency and discipline, it go hand in hand. I don't think you can really have them without each other. Consistency is a product of discipline. If you stay disciplined and you stay committed to the plan, consistency is going to come out of that because it's just natural. That's just kind of how it works. Now, being disciplined is easier said than done. It's something I have constantly struggled with. I've tried to be disciplined and I fall back and I slide back into my old times and then I try again and then I slide back. <laughs> it's a constant struggle okay but for me i found that the best way to be disciplined is building a routine and making routine become habit and once something becomes a habit you just do it anyway it's not even a question you just feel to do it way to build it and i also feel like the best way is to do it by baby steps i think when people want to change their life want to level up I know me, I open up my laptop, I open up Pinterest, I start making a mood board, I start writing down all my plans and it's a lot. It's never anything small, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a realistic um, person. I always feel like I can literally get whatever I want out of life. When you look at the goal by itself, it can, it can seem like it's so far away. But when you break things down into smaller steps, more manageable steps, it's so much more digestible and so much more easier for your brain to comprehend break down and understand and i feel like the same thing with discipline anything you want to be disciplined at and committed to break it down into smaller steps and build it up ramp it up when it's time for example i give you guys my experience going to gym I can't tell you how many times i started and stopped going to gym because i was trying to do four or five times a week every week I would just wake up a day and say, okay, this is day one. I'm going to do four times a week every week. I would go for about a month and then I'd burn out. Like, oh, I'm going to take a rest day. Then before I know it, rest day turned into four rest days. And then before I know it, I've stopped going to the gym. And I realized it's because I'm literally forcing myself to do it on motivation. And then the minute I don't feel like it, I don't go anymore. The minute I feel like I'm a bit busy this week, let me give myself a break, give myself a break and then I don't go back. So I was like, okay, do you know what? I'm going to have to create a routine that works for me and I'm going to break it down because going to the gym four times a week when I'm, that's not my routine, it's not helpful for me or my body because after a couple of weeks, I got so tired because I was pushing my body just quickly. Like going from not working out to working out four times a week is quite drastic. You're not giving your body a chance to like warm up to it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna break this down. We're gonna break this all the way down. So I started to go to the gym once or twice a week routinely waking up at 6 to 7 a.m i don't like to get up past seven so i started doing it twice a week and then i ramped up to three times into four times and when i tell you guys now when i get up in the morning i almost feel bad if i don't go to the gym it's become a habit always remember small progress is better than no progress okay time is always going to go past the days are always going to go past weeks and months going to go past it's better to make some progress than none at all. I feel like when a goal feels too big or you're putting too much pressure on yourself, you'll put pressure onto yourself until you pressure yourself into procrastination. It becomes too much, you become overwhelmed and you don't bother doing anything. And then you have no progress. So it's better to do something small every day, build it up as you go along and then it starts to ramp up and before you know it you're just doing it like second nature because you haven't forced yourself it doesn't feel like torture it doesn't feel like a chore pace yourself you're not sprint in a marathon you will be tired by the first 200 300 meters and then you will be struggling to get around walk okay it's not a sprint it's a marathon people talk about being disciplined and being consistent but no one really breaks down like kind of how to do it and i've struggled with that in the past and i find that has really helped me in regards to being more committed and being able to actually get things done and that actually leads me to my next point which is about planning at some point the plan's got to be put down and you have to execute okay and i am number one number one put me as the poster child i have done this quite a lot where i plan 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 write down all my plans what i want to do and they I, I don't execute you can plan things down to the t and it don't even come out exactly how you wanted it to go you cannot predict how things are always going to happen so at some point you've got to execute you've got to do what you said you was going to do you want to build a business you're planning you're planning you're planning some point you're gonna have to drop it at some point you're gonna have to share it because honey everyone has ideas there's nothing new under the sun you said you were gonna open this business many years you've been planning and planning and planning and planning and i'm talking to myself too plan 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 at some point you gotta execute at some point you just gotta put yourself out there and go ahead full force and go towards your goal sometimes you just gotta take the plunge because you will learn mostly from experience 
Theory is great, but practical experience is the biggest learner. Like that is what's really going to teach you how to handle things or teach you how to grow in any aspect. Let's for example say a business. You can plan, 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 plan down to the T. And when you launch your business, you completely come across something that is com you didn't even plan. That you didn't even you didn't even you didn't even think it was gonna happen. You didn't even account for. And you're gonna have to learn to do that on the job. So you can only plan down to a certain level, but at some point you gotta let go and execute. Jump out there. Okay, you can't just keep planning your life away and then you wake up two months, three months later and you open up your planner and you're still the same. Nothing's changed. You have so many ideas, but nothing is following you through. You have to execute. Everything doesn't have to be perfect. You can perfect things on the way. Let's even use content as an example. It's seven days in a week. If I'm concerned about my lighting every time and I only upload twice in a week, I've only given myself two chances out of seven days to reach people. If I want to grow and I want to reach people, I've got to give myself the most opportunities. So two uploads or two posts, it just ain't enough, to be honest. It's not. You have to do more. Hold yourself accountable and execute. Just put it out there. You don't know what's going to work. You can work six, seven, eight hours on a video or a piece of content and that video don't even do well. And the video you worked for on 10 minutes does way better than that. And you're thinking, I worked 10 hours on that video. I did 20 minutes on that video. How did that work? Just execute. Let it go. Execute. Like in sports, if you got the ball, you, you got to throw the ball. You can't just hug it and keep it. It ain't gonna get you nowhere. Throw the ball and get into the game, okay? Get in the field, let's go. Put some action behind those plans, okay? Because if there's no action behind the plans, the plans are gonna remain just that, plans. Another thing about stepping into a new season is you have to watch out for your environment, whether it be the people around you, your physical environment where you live, or what you're around. You have to be very mindful and very demure about what you have around you because that can affect not only your mental health and how you're thinking and how you're feeling but also just influence your life goals your path and your journey and knock you off your square and one thing about it you don't want to be knocked off your square you don't want no one to play you out your place you cannot afford to have anything around you that is not conducive to where you want to go so as far as physical environment i understand that's not always something you can control whether it be the area you live in or the type of household or apartment wherever you live you can't always control it but one thing you can do is steward over the things you have now so that you're prepared for when you're blessed with more so as far as like keeping your space clean keeping your space organized doing the best with what you have not focusing on lack i feel like when it comes to materialistic items and just things in your physical environment you can get very caught up in focusing on what you don't have if you don't have the best equipment or the best clothes or the most expensive items the luxury outfits or whatever it is and you just feel so down about it do not focus on what you don't have don't focus on the lack focus on what you do have and what you're going to achieve and what you're aiming for if you can steward over what you have now and you can manage what you have now you're showing yourself that when you are blessed with more you'll be prepared for it imagine not preparing for the next level for example if you have a car right now and you want to get a new more expensive more luxury car and you're working towards that and the car you have now you're not taking care of it it's quite dusty you're not cleaning it as often as you need to what do you think is going to happen when you get a new car do you think you're just automatically going to change and now you've got to keep the car nice and clean nine times out of ten you're gonna fall back into your bad habits because you're used to that's how you treat your car in the first place after the novelty wears off you can easily sink back into the bad habits and start treating that car anyhow so be a good steward over what you have currently because when you're blessed with more and when you're able to achieve more you'll be able to manage it you won't fumble it you won't start disregarding it or not taking care of the things you have so definitely watch out for your physical environment i feel like people environment is one of the most important things i feel like when you're stepping into a new season people always feel like they want to cut people off they just feel like they want to cut everyone off they want to isolate i think it really is individual it depends on what you're aiming for or what you know you feel called to do but you don't always have to go that route i feel like we're human beings we're people we like to interact we're social at nature so we don't always have to be completely alone i'm very independent so i do kind of go into my isolation mode but that works for me i'm not everybody that might not work for everyone communication is a really big part of managing the people in your life and also just understanding where people are in your life everyone 
isn't gonna be the same in every season. A best friend you had five years ago might not be the same best friend you have in the next five years. Things can change so you have to be knowledgeable of that but also don't treat it like it has to be a breakup it could just be a communication and just a switcheroo of level and you have to understand your position sometimes you kind of have to categorize the people in your life and figure out where they stand if they can come with you if you're gonna have to hold them at a distance just where just navigating where they're gonna be in your life i think it's great to kind of break it down into categories so the people that support you the people that inspire you the people that are more like monitoring and the people that are distraction i think those are four good like pillars to kind of like navigate the people in your life and where they are because I think it really manages your expectations. The people that do support you, those are the people that you can allow yourself to talk to more, get more conversation and just more interaction out of in general because they're going to positively reinforce your season and where you're going. It's not always easy. You don't always get people that are supporting you. Sometimes you get nobody supporting you. And in that moment, you have to be your strongest supporter. You have to be able to push yourself through the hard times. No matter how hard it gets, you've got to be able to pick yourself up. Also, you want people that inspire you. Whether that's people that you know or people that you don't know. No, it doesn't always have to be someone that has more than you. It could be someone that inspires you as far as work ethic. Someone who's really stable and really like organized. That can be something to inspire you. If you look outside of yourself though, so when it comes to celebrities or people in social media that inspire you, be sure to create a boundary, okay? You don't actually know people, but you can be inspired by their story, but be inspired by their journey and take inspiration from that. I think that's healthy, but don't get caught up in comparison. That is a very sticky situation. But of course, you can be inspired by others and follow their journeys and just, you know, be inspired by their journey. I feel like there's so many people that I'm inspired by that I see their journey. I'm like, I respect that. And people that I relate to as far as journey too. Then you have people that monitor. And I don't think that's always inherently bad. I feel like when people talk about monitoring spirits, they're always speaking quite negative. I don't think monitoring is always necessarily bad. It could be people that follow you on socials or people that you just know in your life that just kind of watch. They don't really interact with you. Just like pre, pre, pre. It's not always inherently bad. Some people are just, they just follow you. They just look, they just see. I feel like it becomes an issue when you post a certain experience, you're on holiday, then people pop up. I don't like that. I don't like that. Like don't pop up because you see me on holiday. I spoke to you in months. That level of monitoring is a no-no. Those type of people that you manage your expectations, if you're going to a new season, you know that when that person pops up, you already know, okay, thank you. You give them the very HR response, okay? You should be able to manage your expectations and know that that's someone that's monitoring. That's not someone who's supporting you genuinely. That's not someone here to inspire you. That's someone just monitoring. If you wanna remove them or block them, fine, but I feel like it's great to manage how you deal with people rather than just cut them off. And I feel like it's a bit toxic. I feel like it's very, you're not addressing how you feel. You're not addressing people. You're not communicating. Just manage how you deal with people. You don't always have to cut people off. Unless it's actually affecting you negatively, then fair. But I feel like you can manage your expectations with people. So people that monitor, let them monitor, let them watch, let them be around, it's fine. As long as it's not negatively affecting you, it's fine. When you're walking into a new season, understand that you're you're evolving, you're moving into a new era of yourself. So you're not going to be the same person you was two years ago. So that person may have an idea of you that they knew of you two, three, four years ago and they're coming back and replying or texting you in that same vein. And it's like, well, I'm not, I'm not that girl number one. That girl, she's not here. New body who this? Shout out to Nikki and Kanye. And then I also said distraction. So distraction, I also feel like this isn't always inherently bad when it comes to your environment, so the people you're around. So let's say in this new season, you kind of want to let go of the party and you don't really want to go out too much. Let's say you have a few friends that you used to party with and they're like, hey, do you want to go out? Do you want to do this? You don't have to cut them off. Just communicate and say, hey girl, that's not the vibe I'm on right now. That can still be your friend. You can still keep key and chat about things, but they just have to understand you're in a new season now. You're stepping into something different and they should respect that. If that's a genuine friend, they'll respect that. Anyone that's a genuine person, a genuine friend to you will understand that and won't take offense to it. You know, as long as you communicate effectively and you're not coming from a judgmental place, because that's one thing that can happen. I feel like when you're changing, evolving, and you're stepping to a new season, it's very easy for you to start looking down on others and being like, I wake up, I go to the gym, I do this. I don't want to talk to people like that. I can't tell you guys how many tweets I've seen online and people being like, 
I'm not being around people that do this and don't call me if this is what you do and it's like it's coming from a very judgmental place it's not coming from a place of peace it's not coming from a place of positivity it's not coming from a place of growth it's coming from a place of looking down on others and I don't think that's healthy so yeah communication is everything if you've had some people in your life that you know you're transitioning to a new season and you feel like they're a bit of a distraction it doesn't have to be inherently bad just communicate that some things won't be the same and if they're a good friend they're still going to support you and still going to be able to hear from them it just may be some things are just a bit different and that's okay it's okay for things to change and evolve things aren't always going to stay the same life is not linear it's not a machine it's not a robot things go up and down and change so it's completely okay definitely check your people environment and also your physical environment do your best to steward over that because going to a new season isn't going to be like that okay it's going to take time to build and to grow it's not something that happens just cold turkey you really have to build it and if you want something to last if you actually want to change your lifestyle you don't want it to be a phase you have to be intentional about every step you can't just be oh i'm gonna cut this off i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that because that type of lifestyle burns out quickly because it becomes a phase if you really want a lifestyle to change if you really want to grow and evolve it has to be a gradual thing it has to really be a process because the cold turkey thing nine times out of ten it ain't gonna last long we want this to be a lifestyle we don't just want it to be for oh until the new year and then you're back in your ways no we want to actually grow evolve and step into this new season and level up we don't want to level back down we want to keep it going stepping into new season doesn't mean you have to literally cut and erase your whole life it doesn't always mean that sometimes it just means adjustments have to be made okay so leveling up and coming out of your stagnant era and being more productive and coming into a new season new era of your life i feel like you really need to have some level of grounding my faith has been super important on my journey and just trying to grow and just evolve as a person I feel like when you're getting prepared to step into a new season, a new era, a rebrand, like the girls like to call it, um, it comes with a lot of uncertainty. It comes with a lot of uncharted territory, uncharted waters, because you're trying to evolve into a place you haven't been before. It can come with a lot of fear. It can come with a lot of like indecisiveness because you're 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 moving into something you haven't done before and it's different my faith has been very very important because one thing about it when i come across some little fear that i'm feeling i always remember god did not give me a spirit of fear but of power love and a sound mind there's nothing i should be afraid of you know god is always with me through everything through every goal through every career path whatever i want to do my god is always with me and i keep that so strong with me i feel like having a level of grounding is so important because like i've said in this video life is not linear like we have our ups and downs everything always ain't gonna be always on the up and up i could not do this video without mentioning god and mentioning my faith because it's just so integral to my whole journey in general but being grounded and having a source of positivity is so just so 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 important and so integral because trust me when you're getting ready to evolve that's when you feel like you get tested the most like things just come against you you're thinking i don't know if i can do this should i give up maybe you're gonna have to go through these uncharted territories you're gonna have to go through things that you've never gone through before and you don't know how it's gonna be you have to go through it you can't go around it you can't sneak you can't ask someone to bring you you just have to go you literally just have to so having faith has really 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 helped me okay just put on some new lip gloss because i've been talking but yeah that's all my tips and my little advice for stepping into a new season i'm speaking to myself i'm also sharing with you guys be sure to respect and accept the life experience you've had thus far things may have not worked out the way you wanted them to or you feel like you've wasted time i always say i don't think you've wasted time it's just experiences for you to learn from but you may feel like you should have done things quicker you may feel like you should have started things sooner but accept where you are now you cannot go back in time you cannot go and change things you can't go and rush things like you could literally only start from now today hopefully you guys enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe and like this video to see more in this new series i'm really excited about it and also let me know any topics you guys want me to chit chat about okay because i have some ideas but please let your girl know but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a nice thumbs up if you enjoyed it be sure to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one